There's a man, he's sitting in the back, and he has a, a bomb. Have you ever pondered about history's unsolved mysteries? This is the only hijacking uh, in the United States that has been unsolved. In the shadows of the past, there linger tales of enigmatic individuals whose stories evade the grasp of science and reason. From masked prisoners to daring skyjackers, these 15 figures leave us questioning and awestruck. Number one, the man in the iron mask, mystery of the masked prisoner. The man in the iron mask, an enigmatic figure from French history, has captivated imaginations for centuries. His true identity and the reasons for his prolonged imprisonment during the reign of Louis XIV remain one of history's great unsolved mysteries. This unidentified prisoner, who was reportedly forced to wear a mask at all times, was held in several prisons, including the Bastille, under the watch of the prison governor, Benin d'Auvergne de Saint-Marc. Historical records indicate that the prisoner, whose face was hidden behind a mask, lived from the late 17th to the early 18th century. The nature of his mask remains a topic of debate. While popular culture often depicts it as iron, historical accounts suggest it might have been black velvet. The mystery surrounding his identity has led to numerous theories, ranging from the suggestion that he was a high-ranking nobleman to rumors of him being the king's twin brother or an important military officer. The Man in the Iron Mask story is a blend of historical fact and legend. The intrigue lies in the reasons behind his anonymous imprisonment and the extreme measures taken to ensure his identity remained concealed. His existence raises questions about the political and social circumstances of the time, and his story has been the subject of many adaptations in literature and film, symbolizing the timeless fascination with secrecy and the unknown in human history. Number two, D.B. Cooper, the skyjacker who vanished. D.B. Cooper is a name synonymous with one of the most audacious unsolved mysteries in the annals of American crime. On November 24, 1971, a man using the alias Dan Cooper hijacked Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305, a Boeing 727 flying from Portland to Seattle. After receiving a ransom of $200,000 and four parachutes, he released the passengers and crew, instructed the plane to fly towards Mexico, and somewhere over the dense forests of Washington State, he parachuted into infamy. The man known as D.B. Cooper was described as calm and polite, a contrast to his dramatic heist. Despite one of the most extensive and ongoing manhunts in FBI history, Cooper's identity and fate remain unknown. The case is riddled with enigmas. Was Cooper an experienced skydiver, a desperate criminal, or something more complex? Did he survive his daring escape, or did the dense wilderness claim him? Over the years, the mystery of D.B. Cooper has sparked numerous theories and alleged sightings, but none have provided concrete answers. In 1980, a boy found a decaying package of $1.20 bills from the ransom money along the Columbia River, deepening the intrigue. The D.B. Cooper hijacking has become a cultural phenomenon, inspiring books, films, and even festivals, embodying the human fascination with unsolvable mysteries and the allure of the perfect crime. Number 3. Jack the Ripper, the Elusive London Killer Jack the Ripper, a name synonymous with terror and mystery, stalked the streets of London's East End in the autumn of 1888. This unidentified serial killer's reign of terror in the Whitechapel district left at least five women brutally murdered and mutilated, sparking panic and horror in Victorian London. The gruesomeness of the murders, primarily targeting prostitutes, was marked by a level of brutality and precision that suggested a deranged mind with anatomical knowledge, possibly even a surgeon. Despite an extensive police investigation, the true identity of Jack the Ripper was never uncovered. He became known as Jack the Ripper through letters sent to the police and local press, some possibly hoaxes, yet they contributed significantly to the killer's mythos. Theories about his identity abound, ranging from butchers and surgeons to members of the royal family. The lack of conclusive evidence allowed the Ripper to become a figure of enduring fascination and speculation. The Ripper's case was one of the first to attract intense media coverage and public scrutiny, creating a template for modern-day serial killer profiles. It highlighted the dark underbelly of Victorian London and the struggles of its impoverished inhabitants. Today, Jack the Ripper's legend endures, both as a chilling chapter in criminal history and a symbol of the ultimate unsolved mystery. 
fascinating both historians and the public alike. Number 4. The Zodiac Killer, Cryptic Clues and Endless Theories The Zodiac Killer, an enigmatic figure who terrorized Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s, represents one of the most baffling unsolved cases in the annals of American crime. Known for taunting police and newspapers with letters and cryptograms, the Zodiac claimed responsibility for at least five murders, though he boasted of killing up to 37 people. His cryptic communications, complete with chilling threats and bizarre symbols, have fueled a decades-long obsession among professional and amateur sleuths alike. Despite one of the most extensive manhunts in U.S. history, the Zodiac's identity remains unknown. His letters, sent to newspapers, included four cryptograms, of which only one has been definitively solved. The Zodiac's case is marked by a series of dead ends, false leads, and theories ranging from plausible to the far-fetched. Suspects have included wayward drifters, disgruntled policemen, and even other known serial killers. But no conclusive evidence has ever been found linking any individual to the crimes. The Zodiac's legacy is not just the terror he instilled or the lives he took, but also the cultural and media phenomenon he created. His ability to elude capture, his seeming desire for public attention, and the cryptic nature of his communications have cemented the Zodiac as a symbol of the ultimate unsolved mystery. The case remains a subject of intense public interest and speculation, a darkly fascinating puzzle that challenges our understanding of criminal behavior and the limits of forensic science. Number 5. The Green Children of Woolpit A Tale of Otherworldly Visitors The enigmatic story of the Green Children of Woolpit, emerging from the annals of 12th century England, presents a bizarre and captivating mystery. In the village of Woolpit in Suffolk, villagers were astounded to discover two children, a brother and sister, with skin of an unnatural green hue. These children spoke an unknown language and would eat nothing but beans. As time passed, they gradually adapted to a normal diet, and their skin lost its green color. But the boy became sickly and died shortly after. The girl, who survived and learned to speak English, supposedly relayed a story as strange as their appearance. She spoke of a homeland called St. Martin's Land, an eerie twilight world devoid of sunlight, located in an unknown realm. The children, she claimed, had followed a herd of cattle into a cave and emerged in wool pit. Their story has been subject to various interpretations. Some speculate that the children may have been Flemish orphans, their green tint the result of malnutrition. Others have proposed more fantastic theories, such as extraterrestrial origins or a parallel world. The tale of the green children has become a part of local folklore, blurring the lines between reality and fantasy, and leaving a legacy of speculation and wonder about the limits of our understanding of the world. Number 6. Caspar Hauser The Boy With No Past Caspar Hauser's story begins in 1828 in Nuremberg, Germany, when a teenage boy appeared with a mysterious past. He had limited speech and walked with difficulty. Hauser claimed to have spent his entire life confined in a dark cell. In his possession was a letter addressed to a cavalry captain, which stated that Hauser had been in the sender's care since infancy and that he wanted to become a soldier, like his father. As Hauser learned to communicate, he recounted his past of utter isolation, claiming he was fed and cared for by a mysterious man who never revealed his face. His tale captivated the public and intellectuals alike, inciting debates and theories about his origins. Was he a lost prince from the House of Baden, a victim of kidnapping and abuse, or simply an ingenious fraud? Casper's enigmatic life was cut short in 1833, when he died from a stab wound, claimed by some to be self-inflicted and by others, a murder. His death only deepened the mystery, with no conclusive evidence to fully unravel his story. Hauser remains an enduring symbol of enigma and the human psyche's complex nature. Number 7. The Babushka Lady, Unseen Footage of a Tragedy in the intricate tapestry of the JFK assassination, one enigmatic figure stands out, the Babushka Lady. Captured in multiple photographs and films during those crucial moments in Dallas on November 22, 1963, this unknown woman, named for her headscarf resembling those traditionally worn by elderly Russian women, has intrigued both historians and conspiracy theorists. Despite numerous witnesses and extensive FBI investigations, 
her identity remains shrouded in mystery. The babushka lady was not just an observer. She appeared to be filming the event, a camera in hand, as she stood calmly amidst the chaos. Her potential footage of the assassination could provide invaluable insights, but it never surfaced. The FBI's efforts to locate her were in vain, and she never came forward, despite public appeals. Who was she, and why was she there? Was she a mere bystander, an intelligence agent, or did she hold a more personal connection to the event? Theories abound, but with no concrete evidence, she remains an enigmatic spectator to one of the most scrutinized moments in history. The babushka lady exemplifies the enduring allure and mystery surrounding the Kennedy assassination, a pivotal event wrapped in layers of intrigue and unanswered questions. Number 8. Gil Perez, a case of mysterious teleportation. Gil Perez's tale is a bewildering narrative that challenges the realms of possibility. In 1593, Gil Perez, a Spanish soldier, allegedly experienced an inexplicable event that would mark him in history as a subject of supernatural folklore. According to the accounts, Perez, while serving as a guard in Manila, suddenly found himself in Mexico City's Plaza Mayor, over 9,000 miles away, without any knowledge of how he had traveled such a vast distance. The details of Perez's story read like a script from a fantasy novel. He claimed that he had been on duty in the Philippines, and then, in what seemed like an instant later, was standing in Mexico. Witnesses in Mexico City were astonished by his sudden appearance and his detailed knowledge of an assassination in Manila that had occurred just days before. News that had not yet reached Mexico. The perplexing nature of Perez's supposed teleportation has given rise to various interpretations, from the possibility of a trance-like state, to a fabricated tale, or even an early account of alleged paranormal activity. Skeptics dismiss it as myth, while others speculate about unexplained phenomena. Regardless of its truth, Gil Perez's story persists as a fascinating enigma, captivating those intrigued by the mysteries of time, space, and the unexplained. Number 9. The Summerton Man, a code yet to be cracked. In the annals of unsolved mysteries, the case of the Summerton Man stands out as particularly enigmatic. Discovered in 1948 on a tranquil Australian beach near Adelaide, the body of an unidentified man, impeccably dressed and peacefully reclined, sparked a mystery that remains unsolved. With no apparent cause of death, no identification, and all labels removed from his clothing, the case was a puzzle from the start. Adding to the intrigue, a hidden pocket in the man's trousers contained a scrap of paper with the words, Tamam Shud, Persian for ended or finished, torn from a rare edition of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. This clue led to the discovery of the book itself, in the back of a nearby car which contained a mysterious cipher and an unlisted phone number. Despite numerous attempts by both amateur and professional codebreakers, the cipher remains undeciphered, deepening the enigma. Theories about the Summerton Man range from espionage to unrequited love, and even suggestions of a perfect suicide. His unidentified body, the cryptic code, and the absence of any clear motive or cause of death weave a complex tapestry that challenges investigators and mystery enthusiasts alike. The Summerton Man case, emblematic of Cold War era paranoia and the power of secret codes, continues to be a source of fascination and speculation, a timeless mystery that remains tantalizingly unsolved. Number 10. Fulcanelli, the Immortal Alchemist. Fulcanelli, a name shrouded in mystery and associated with esoteric knowledge and alchemical prowess, stands as one of the most intriguing figures in the world of the occult. Believed to have lived in the 20th century, Fulcanelli is a pseudonym for a still unknown individual or possibly a group of people who authored two influential texts on alchemy and esoteric symbolism. His most famous works, Le Mystère des Cathédrales, and Les Demures Philosophales are rich in arcane knowledge and cryptic illustrations, guiding viewers through a mystical interpretation of architecture and alchemy. Stories of Fulcanelli suggest that he discovered the Philosopher's Stone, the legendary alchemical substance said to grant immortality and turn base metals into gold. The legend of Fulcanelli is compounded by accounts of his remarkable longevity and the mysterious nature of his disappearance. His last known student, Eugene Canceliet, claimed Fulcanelli achieved immortality and vanished without a trace. Adding to the enigma, numerous theories have emerged about his identity, ranging from a well-known scientist to a collective pseudonym for a group of esoteric scholars. 
Fulcanelli's legacy in the world of alchemy and beyond is significant, inspiring generations of seekers and adepts. His works and the legends surrounding his life continue to fuel the imagination and curiosity of those drawn to the mysteries of alchemy and the pursuit of hidden knowledge. His identity and the truths behind his teachings remain a captivating enigma, emblematic of the enduring allure of the ancient and mysterious art of alchemy. Number 11. Count of Saint-Germain, the Timeless Wanderer. The Count of Saint-Germain, an enigmatic figure in European history, remains one of the most intriguing and elusive characters of the 18th century. Described as a polymath, philosopher, and a man of seemingly endless talents, Saint-Germain captivated the courts of Europe with his extensive knowledge, musical skill, and fluency in several languages. What truly set him apart, however, were his claims of immortality and his seemingly ageless appearance, leading many to speculate about his true origins and identity. Saint-Germain's life is shrouded in mystery and legend. He claimed to possess the secret of eternal life and to have lived for centuries, with anecdotes of his appearances in various historical periods adding to his mythos. He was known for his extensive alchemical knowledge, with rumors suggesting he had discovered the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary alchemical substance said to grant immortality and turn base metals into gold. Despite his fame, little is known about his origins. He was a master of reinvention, keeping his true background hidden. After his supposed death in the late 18th century, sightings and stories continued to emerge, fueling speculation that he had indeed mastered the secret of eternal life. The Count of Saint-Germain remains a captivating figure in the annals of history, embodying the allure of the unknown and the human fascination with immortality. His legacy persists in the realms of historical mystery, alchemy, and the occult. Number 12. The Poe Toaster, a tribute in mystery. The Poe Toaster is a figure wrapped in mystery, part of the lore surrounding the life and death of the famed American writer Edgar Allan Poe. For over seven decades, an unidentified individual paid an annual nocturnal tribute to Poe by visiting his grave in Baltimore. Every year on January 19th, Poe's birthday, the toaster would leave three roses and a bottle of cognac before vanishing into the night, a ritual that began in the 1930s and continued until 2009. The identity of the Poe toaster was never discovered, and their motivations remained a matter of speculation. Was this a solitary admirer? or a succession of individuals keeping a tradition alive. The toaster's annual visits became a spectacle, attracting media and public attention, yet they managed to maintain their anonymity, adding to the enigma. The Poe toaster's tribute became an integral part of the mystique surrounding Poe, complementing the author's own legacy of mystery and the macabre. This annual homage, performed in secrecy and silence, resonates with the themes of Poe's writing and has become a symbol of the enduring impact of his work. The cessation of the visits in 2009 only added to the mystery, leaving behind a legacy as enigmatic as the life and works of Edgar Allan Poe himself. Number 13. Bella in the Witch Elm, A Secret to the Grave The haunting mystery of Bella in the Witch Elm began in 1943 in Hagleywood, England, when the skeletal remains of a woman were found inside a hollow elm tree. The discovery sparked a baffling investigation, as no one could identify the woman, or explain how her remains ended up in such an unusual place. Dubbed Bella from Graffiti, that later appeared in the area asking, who put Bella in the Witch Elm? The case has remained one of Britain's most intriguing unsolved mysteries. Theories about Bella's identity and the circumstances of her death have ranged from espionage to witchcraft. Some speculated she was involved with a German spy ring during World War II, possibly meeting her end due to a failed mission or a lover's betrayal. Others thought she might have been a victim of occult practices, given the manner of her burial. Despite numerous investigations, including forensic examinations and public appeals, no conclusive answers have been found. Bella's story is as enigmatic as it is eerie, with each clue only deepening the mystery. Her case continues to captivate the public imagination, a grim reminder of the shadowy side of human history and the enduring nature of unsolved mysteries. Number 14. Raoul Wallenberg the Lost Hero Raoul Wallenberg, a Swedish diplomat, emerged as a monumental figure during World War II, credited with saving tens of thousands of Hungarian Jews from the Holocaust. Utilizing his diplomatic status, Wallenberg issued protective passports and set up safe houses, showing extraordinary bravery and resourcefulness. 
his actions represent one of the most significant humanitarian efforts of the era. In January 1945, Wallenberg's story took a tragic turn. He was detained by Soviet authorities in Budapest and subsequently disappeared. The circumstances of his arrest and his subsequent fate have been the subject of extensive investigation and speculation. Some reports suggest he died in Soviet custody under mysterious conditions, while others propose he survived for several years in the Gulag. Decades of research and diplomatic inquiries have shed little light on Wallenberg's fate, turning him into a symbol of selfless heroism and the tragic cost of political intrigue. His disappearance remains one of the great enigmas of the 20th century, a poignant story of courage, sacrifice, and the unresolved shadows of war. Wallenberg's legacy endures, inspiring future generations to stand against oppression and injustice. Number 15. The Mary Celeste Crew, Ghost Ship's Vanish Crew. The saga of the Mary Celeste is perhaps one of the most enduring maritime mysteries of all time. In December 1872, this American merchant brigantine was found adrift in the Atlantic, her crew, mysteriously vanished without a trace. The ship, in seaworthy condition with its cargo intact and a six-month supply of food and water still on board, offered no clue as to the fate of the ten people she had carried. The Mary Celeste had set sail from New York to Genoa on November 7th, but was discovered floating aimlessly near the Azores. The ship's lifeboat was missing, suggesting a sudden, urgent evacuation. The captain's logbook, last entry dated 10 days prior to the discovery, provided no indication of any trouble. What led to the abandonment of a perfectly good ship? Theories have ranged from the rational to the bizarre. A sudden squall, piracy, an insurance scam, or even an attack by a giant squid. One popular hypothesis revolves around the cargo of industrial alcohol, which may have emitted fumes, leading the crew to fear an imminent explosion. Another theory suggests a temporary psychological breakdown of the crew or captain, driven by stress or an unknown fear. Despite numerous investigations and the passage of time, the mystery remains unsolved. The fate of the crew of the Mary Celeste continues to baffle and intrigue, a ghostly puzzle at sea that leaves us pondering the limits of our understanding of the vast, untamed ocean. The story of the Mary Celeste is a haunting maritime legend, a reminder of the sea's mysteries and the eternal human quest to solve the unsolvable.